Hey there, this is Neil Napier here. So in this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of SiteSync and show you what kind of different websites you can backup, download and restore with it. Remember, this is a very easy to use software and that's exactly how we've created it. So even if you're non-technical, you can use it, especially the backup and download part. For the restore part, you do need to know your FTP details, but don't worry, we cover that in training. Now, when you first land in here into SiteSync, you'll be able to see a video walkthrough of how to use it, as well as then how many FTPs you have connected, you can have more than one, how many plugins you have connected, you know, how many WordPress websites you have backed up, how much space your websites are taking, and so on and so forth. So you see all the basic details over here. Now, if I jump on over to settings, you'll see that I already have a few of my websites backed up. A couple of them have been done with WordPress and one of them via FTP. I'm going to back up a site using WordPress plugin that I'll download and use in my dashboard. But like I mentioned, because this is cloud based, all the data goes straight to the cloud as well as then you are able to download and back up other kinds of websites as well. So then let's go ahead and add a new site here. I'm going to use a WordPress plugin method. This is the hash key that you need. You can download and install the plugin. So I'm just going to download the plugin here. And this is the hash key you need to use. So let me pause the video and jump on over to my WordPress website. Okay, so this is a WordPress website. Now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and upload the plugin in here. So I'll go into add new and then I'll go ahead and upload the plugin from my computer. So let's go ahead and find that. There we go, the plugin is now installed. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. Remember, I have a hash key from before that I can use that in this case. Let me enter that here and update. And there we go, now SiteSync is enabled in this case. I'm going to go back here and also enable monitor. This is available for the pro version and we'll talk about that when you get there. But once this is in place, click on check and it will validate and make sure that the key is in place and everything is working as expected. So successfully validated, let's go click next. And in this case, because we only have one site, this doesn't kick in. Now this is not a very active site, so I only want to back up this bi-weekly. I'm going to click on next. And then once it's done, simply click on confirm and you'll see that this table now gets updated with this additional website as well. It will take a few minutes till I'm able to see it in archive because in archive I have all these websites. Okay, I have a fourth one as well. At the moment, it hasn't come through. It will slowly come through and within a few hours, for the first time, it will be available in the queue. And next time, whenever you want to back it up, it will be available based on what settings you have in place. And once I have the file up here, let me go and show you this one. Once I have this file here, I can either choose to untick it. If I untick this then and save it, it won't be backed up. If I want to download all the files, I can click here and download all the files, or I can just download this one. Now about storage itself, let's talk about that. So you have a few different options for storage. When you're trying to store it, for me, I have set up Sync Manage as the primary storage location, but you can also link it up to your Google Drive, Amazon S3, Dropbox, and OneDrive. We recommend using only one place all the time so that all your sites are sitting in one place itself. Now let's jump into the restore part of this platform and let me show you how you can restore your websites as well. So within this you have a couple of methods to restore your website. One is restoring them to the same FTP. So if your website goes down and if you want to restore it back up, this would be the way to go. Alternatively, you can also restore or rather clone websites to a different FTP. And this is great because if you have, let's say, an affiliate website that you want to clone in different places, if you have a blog network that you want to clone in different places, this would be the fastest way to do that. So now let's go ahead and restore the viral storage website into, in this case, let's pick another FTP because we don't need to restore it back into the same one. So I've got all these details that I need to put in and I'm just going to put them in and I'm going to come back to the video. So there we go. Let's check if all these details are indeed fine. We'll just click on check and validate and perfect. The FTP connection is fine. Now let's go ahead and put in our database host details as well. Remember, this is what the website 
currently looks like. So it's just a, a template WordPress website. But we wanna put our details in and see how it works out. Let me do that now. Great, so all our details are in. I'm going to click Submit. And it will take, depending on the size of the file, it'll take about 10 to 15 to maybe 30 minutes and it will be done. So okay, rest will be initiated in 30 minutes. It's gone into a queue and we're going to wait till the site comes back online. And of course, if you sometime are in a rush and need the restore done immediately, you can contact us via support and we can see what we can do. But now it's in a queue. This is the maximum time it'll take and uh, we'll get back to when the site is up and running. And so there we go. This is the site now that we have restored and it's already in place. This is exact copy of vital stores as we expected. So the process works. It's easy to do, very, very easy and uh, straightforward to manage as well. This is all you need to do when you are restoring your websites with SiteSync.